Hi, and welcome to my birthday. I picked the 11th as my day to talk about to talk about a Stephen Graham Jones story because it's my birthday. And I couldn't really decide what I wanted to talk about. So, spoiler alert, I'm also coming back to talk on the very last day of June, and I kind of wanted to say one of my most recent favorite ones to talk about then at the end. So I have that one set there, and then there's another one that I really liked, and I'm coming back later in the month to talk about that one. And so I was kind of waiting for everybody to pick theirs, and then I would decide what to do for my birthday read. And the only book that's left, or the story that's left that I've finished, is after the people lights have gone off. I wanted to make sure I got the whole thing correct. After the people lights have gone off. I read this, it's a short story collection. There are 15 or 16 stories in it. And I read this a while back. So if you gave me the titles of all 15 of these stories and said what happened in them, I would not remember exactly what happened in each story. I do know the story after the people lights have gone off. Like I remember what happened in that story and I remember that I liked it and it was, it just seemed so unique to me in the way the characters were in that story specifically. And it's, it, it tells the point of view in parts of it, of the, animals that are outside and they can't do something in the house that they want to until after the people lights have gone off and that's when I was like oh that's where that came from and that's a very cool like description of a house if you're outside like one of the animals that are outside and you're like oh the people lights so that's what they called them anyway I thought that was really cute there is a, the story was not cute let me let me go back and say that <laughs> None of these stories, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure nothing that Stephen Graham Jones has written could be called cute. But that one instance with the animals outside, I thought that was a cute way of describing the lights in the house going off. Okay, back to the stories. There's one called 13, and I know it has to do with a movie theater, and so just going off of my memory, I really do think that it's just one of those scary stories that you would like sit around the campfire or sit around somewhere wherever you sit and tell scary stories. And this is the kind of story that you would tell about what happened at the movie outdoor drive-in theater. Then there's a really cool one about a dad and his son hunting. That one might be called Bush Dogs. I think it's called Bush Dogs. Also, that one was really scary to me. There were a few of these that I was like, ooh, I need to not read that at night. Like, they're just creepy scary, not like, I don't know. There's not jump scare type stuff in a lot of his writing anyway, but it was just creepy. So, I would say this collection as a whole, if you are just trying to find something, these stories are short. One of the ones closer to the end is called Uncle, also a super creepy story. So, what I'm just saying is, if you want to get into Stephen Graham Jones and you're not sure where to start, I would definitely say with some of his shorter stuff, and there are so many collections that he has of short stories. There's also just one-offs of short stories, so you can start there, but any of his shorter stuff is probably a good way to get introduced. And then you'll have to decide, because I feel like some of his writing the majority of his writing falls into two categories and at the end of the month i'm going to kind of talk about this a little bit more when i have more of my thoughts together about it but i think i've got most of his writing into two and so like i said i'll go into those two categories a little bit further later but he just has some serious more serious leanings and then just absolutely absurd leanings and so i think you have to find what your style of stephen graham jones is i also think he can write anything he wants to like his detective novels have been fantastic i've read a few of those just and they're not one detective i just mean that books about detectives i think he does a great job of writing those just just I don't know. I haven't found anything yet that I didn't like at least some parts of it. Even the books that I disliked the most, like even the thing that I liked the least is still three and a half stars. So I've liked everything so far that I've read. Now, back to this book. It won the best collection of the year called This Is Horror, and it was nominated for best collection of the year for the Bram Stoker Awards. And I think it came out in 2014, I haven't looked it up, but 
like I said, there's 15 stories in here and there's only 300 pages in the book. And so they're not very long stories. Also, we get the author's explanations at the end where he talks about where he came up with the ideas for the stories or why he decided to write that story. It just, it's one of my favorite parts about reading anything from him is I know we're gonna get his thoughts at the end and it just adds so much more to me to what I've just read and I love it, I love it. So that's gonna do it for this review of After the People Lights Have Gone Off. You will be seeing me back on the Stephen Graham Jones rotation in a week or so, maybe a little longer than that, closer to the end of the month. But until then, make sure that you are following the playlist because every day I am updating the playlist with the newest video from whoever around the internet has done the video. And then at the end, I will link all the channels of everybody who participated. This has been so much fun. I am transitioning. I'm in a temporary house for the last day today. So I am about to leave this house and then I will be in another temporary location for the rest of June and then I will be leaving again. So make sure you like and subscribe so that you won't miss any videos because who knows where I'll be recording from or when I'll be <laughs> posting videos in the future. Finally, if you have made it this far and you want to enter the contest to win a Stephen Graham Jones book, $20 value or less, then put it in the comments of this video or anybody's video for the whole month. Put it in the comments of any of those videos and say that you wanna enter the drawing and I'm gonna be drawing on July 5th or 6th. We should be moving into our new house on the 5th, so I might be a little bit busy, but one of those two days I'm gonna do a drawing, a, just a quick video and I will put it up as soon as I do the spinner. I'm sure it'll be a spinner. And I will send the winner a book. The book is a $20 value. I don't care about shipping, but the book, book because some of his older books are really expensive. So I had to put a, a limit on the amount of money. I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna start packing up and getting ready to go to the next location. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.